Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are here once again playing NASCAR Heat 4 on the channel. Today we're doing the Atlanta Motor Speedway race because that is where NASCAR is headed this Sunday. That's right, today. NASCAR will be racing in Atlanta. The first um, first race in Atlanta, and only race in Atlanta of the season. Um, and that's going to be pretty interesting. And race is supposed to be scheduled relatively early. I believe Atlanta was going to be like the fifth race. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Like Atlanta was after they went to California, wasn't it? Because that's the week that he got canceled. That was the first week that they um, postponed a race or something. And that's where it all started, like, the break. Because I remember they were sort of in Atlanta already, and people were heading there, and they are like, yeah, we're not doing a race, so. Uh, very interesting that uh, that's where they're headed this week, so. Atlanta a lot later in the year than, than other seasons. Uh, it's, like, very beginning of the season or towards, like, the end of the summer, so it's got a weird, weird time this year. Uh, but either way, we are here to do the race. And today we're racing with Jimmy Johnson. I uh, know the race is Kevin Harvey, but I figured, you know, it's Jimmy Johnson's final season. Let's do a race, uh, let's do a race with Jimmy Johnson. Let's see what we can do. Don't have high hopes for Atlanta, not a track that I'm good at. Probably more similar to our first Charlotte video that we did for the Coke 600, where we sort of struggled for most of the race, uh, as we did in that video. So, don't expect a dominant performance here, or even a good performance at all. Uh, we may have better hopes of doing good when we go to Martinsville. Not a good qualifying session at all. I also do want to acknowledge that we are continuing recording videos here using the AirPods. As the wire that I got from my microphone uh, sounds absolutely terrible. Um, it's not a good wire at all. So hopefully later in this week we will have that wire come. We should be here to tent. Um, hopefully videos that are recorded uh, a little after some should be better audio-wise. I was really hoping that some of the Overwatch videos we recorded last week uh, would be the end of that, but they will not be. If you want to know what I'm talking about with that audio, there was two videos that I was able to record that were okay sounding, uh, which will be going out later in this week. They should be going out on Monday and Tuesday. And uh, those videos were recorded with the microphone, so we have a little taste to use the microphone, but very disappointing to not be recording this one using that, but yeah, it's whatever we can do, we gotta make do with what we have, and uh, that's what we're here, we're trying to make at least some, some form of better video, and they can move everybody in the end once he goes forward and complete the pass to put himself ahead of me, he's definitely had that draft, and the handle must have gotten a penalty. Uh, as we qualified before, it's the starting in 39. One spot ahead of him. So just try to make as much distance to the field as possible. It's really our goal here uh, in the first race at Atlanta. See how far forward we can go. Where ultimately we get to go in this field. Alright, just get absolutely turned by Benny Hamlin. Awesome. I love when the AI do that. They just spin you out. It's pretty fun. Uh, so, that was that. Uh, now we're back here in 40th after getting taken out by Hamlin. And now I just put myself out. Not a great start to this race, to say the least. Well, we're back in last, so we might as well pick, get some new tires on it. Not going to make a difference whether we pit or not, so we'll do it, get some better tires. Hopefully we can make a little bit of a run to the field. Uh, try to get back up to at least where we were when we got spun by Hamlin. We've got a couple laps to move forward here, so... See what we can do with that. Go back to the bottom now. 
and you can tell we do have fresher tires. Of course, we're in a better car than all these drivers back here. Uh, only one probably close to us in front of Dennis Hamlin, maybe Paul Menard. Uh, but most drivers back here do not have as good of a car, but you can really, really tell how good those newer tires are and how helpful that really is to Justin Sophie, especially Atlanta. Past this first set of cars pretty easily, and now we're going to start passing some of these guys. That easy as well. It's going to get by some of these uh, three wide cars here. We're four wide up here. Look at Denny Hamlin make a pass up there. Another three wide battle going on here. Four wide. We're going to go by all of these cars very, very quickly. We're up even further in the field than we were. Uh, on the tires, so definitely worked out for us to get that far back, and of course hitting there didn't hurt. So here we go, try to work our way through this corner. I believe we're going to finish the stage in 29th. Uh, good recovery from being 40th, there's a couple laps to go. New tires definitely played into our hand there. And we only are a couple spots behind the Hamlin who spun us out, putting us back to 40th. So we're going to pit. We don't want to take any fuel, but we will take four new tires. So we're on equal tires as everybody else now, but uh, that's sort of good. We're back on the same strategy and being on a little different strategy there for a little bit, taking some new tires and we're back in last place. Didn't hurt. So here we go now. We are catching up to slightly faster cars. Uh, we got past them first. 10 cars, we're getting back to where cars may be slightly more competitive. Stuck on the bottom here, underneath Hamlin. He's going to have to go for an aggressive move here to try to get in front of us. We're going to draft right up behind him. See what we can do. We hit that yellow line just a little bit. Go behind Reagan to try to get a little bit of a draft here. See what we can do. Another 10 lap stage here. See Kyle Bush won the first stage. Joe Dagano out in the lead here in the second stage early in Atlanta. Kind of just going to follow Denny Hamilton to field here. That's really the strategy we're doing, but. We're just getting stalled out here. We really just cannot carry the speed to these corners for some reason. We're just not really making any ground on these guys. Kind of sitting here in 29. Catching the draft a little bit, but... Ultimately, I think it is not really working out for us this stage. Not really sure what we could do. Uh, maybe just ride around here and hope that maybe some strategy puts us in a good position. Um, I am thinking maybe about a lap 11 or lap 9. Not lap 11. I was thinking about 10, but whatever. Lap 10. Lap 9 or 10, I should say. I'm thinking of probably coming in, doing a pit stop, getting some new tires in this car, putting us out in the lead. Uh, when everybody else pits at the end of stage two here. Uh, so using the stage two advantage, of course, the actual NASCAR rule says that pit road is closed with two laps to go uh, in a stage. But, I'm going to spin there. I got too much down on the apron. Things not really working out for us here. Come on, get a caution. Give me a caution, please. No? Okay. That is completely just killed that. Really, dude? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, dude. Awesome. This game fucking sucks, dude. You cannot tell me that that would... Okay, whatever. 
I mean, that first spin should have been cautious, but... Whatever. So, what I was gonna say was lap 9 I was gonna pit. Um, but, since that may have just killed that strategy, I don't know. But yeah, when I spun in that grass, that should have been the caution right there. That should have been the end of that, everybody pit. But basically the point is that I'm gonna pit here either way, hope that everybody comes in once again and pits. I know that's not how this game works, but gonna hope maybe the game thinks okay this is it we pit here we're good Black flag is in the air for us. what all right dude too fast centering somehow apparently little pit road speed is you didn't tell me that time um but basically in nascar the rules that you cannot pit with two laps to go at the end of the stage, to basically do what you can do in the video game. Uh, and what that is, essentially, is... You come in, and pit, and then get in front of everybody else when they pit at the end of the stage. That's kind of the strategy here, how it works, because you're not going to go alive down, because the stage ends when everybody crosses the line. So, theoretically, that's what you could do if you're back in, like, 20th, you pit, then everybody else pits, you get ahead of them. But, in NASCAR pay road closes, but in this game, it does not. So, there's no thing saying pit road's closed, you can't do that. They still pit your car, and you're good. Issue with that is, uh, nobody really pit, so... Uh, that strategy would have normally worked had that caution not came out. Uh, when it did. So, that kind of killed our strategy, but we're here in 29th now. Got a bunch of good cars behind us, so maybe we can go to the field with Bagana. We got Harvick behind us as well. So maybe those cars will go to the front here and we can sort of work with them to get back up to where they should be and where we should be. Because, you know, messing around back here and back of the field is not fun. Don't really enjoy it. And I would not mind being in the front of the field. Or in a relatively competitive position. Got yeah, Ricky Stenhouse behind us. Oh, he's scary. You never know when he's going to crash you. We go behind Ryan Truex. Give him a little bit of a push forward. Slow me down, but. It's going to work out in our favor. Stenhouse gets put out on the high side. Both of us get stuck behind slow cars, but being on the bottom, I can make the move better here around Truex. Again, you got to think, we do have slightly better tires than all these cars here in front of us. I'm the highest up driver with the new tires. So we have a couple laps before they really start to balance out, and the advantage that we have goes away. Uh, the rubber will be better on our cars. Again, tire wear at Atlanta is very, very high, so it's not going to be long before we start just, you know, balancing out and not really being able to pass as far as well. Uh, we see at the end of the last stage, Harvard going to the outside very, very fast here in that bush forward. He's going forward quickly. We're going to start passing our teammate here, William Byron. Try to just hold off Harvard. We don't need him to go by. Uh, that would not be helpful because that really, really hurts our race to have a faster car like that going in front of us. But we're trying to do what we can do up here into the top 20. Um, yeah, not feeling the best about our chances to win this race per se, but I think a top 15 is doable. I don't know about anything higher than that, but I think 15 is definitely an obtainable position. Which I'd be very happy with here at Atlanta. Ooh, got a little bit loose there off the corner. Could have definitely spun it or hit the wall and really, really killed our chances. Loose here underneath Ty Dillon as well. This car is starting to give up some of that grip and you can really feel it. Uh, and you can also notice it just how this car is moving around just a little bit more here. Uh, but try to do what we can do here. Go underneath Newman. Get past him for... 17th. Oh, I hit the, I hit the apron. Made that mistake two times in this race already. 
cut off Stenhouse there. Do not want to let him get by either. He's another one of the fast cars uh, with the good tires back there with us as well. Similar situation with Harvick. Stenhouse is the other one that is going up there. Caution is out. Everybody seems to be pitting. Uh, so I'm going to pit as well. Four tires full of fuel. That shouldn't hurt us. It does not. So we are in 17th position here. Seeing what we can do. It's nice that the video um, having a notification pop up on the screen and not be a gigantic blast box across the screen for a while. Uh, as you see what I recorded. So that's cool. Uh, good to just have the basic. Here's the thing pop up. You guys can know that I had Overwatch update. I'm very, very glad that I recorded the videos that I did last night, uh, which are going to be the videos going out on Monday and Tuesday with that, because that was in Overwatch, and if that uh, update came out, those video clips are gone. Uh, so the replays that you guys see, I'm going to record, of course, from Overwatch, and those videos are now gone forever, once that update goes through, so... Very, very good to see that, uh, we're very glad that I recorded them, and also glad that the files sound okay enough to upload, and that I have to redo it because they would have been lost, and I was very mad, because there's definitely some good matches in there. Because last week's buys, we're up here into 13th place. Oh no, we took out Stenhouse, oh god, big crash behind us. Uh, it does not really play into our favor when we have the equal cars uh, to everybody else tire wear wise. Uh, had we been on an opposite strategy, I really think that could have played into our advantage of the caution that came out, but uh, I didn't. We gotta try and get a top 10 here. It may be doable, but some of these cars here around us are quite quick. This 19, 2, 4, like all these cars are pretty good. Maybe the 42 up there is passable, maybe the 10, but... Maybe the 1 up there too, both of those cars can be a little bit slower, but... Where we're at right now, this is going to be... A difficult top 10 to fight for. As you can see here, we are uh, definitely not gaining on the cars in front. Not sure what's with that. Why these AI are so strong? I don't know if I just have them on like a higher setting. Maybe they're maybe they made the difficult AI in this game more difficult uh, than they used to be in NASCAR Heat 3. That's really the only thing that I can say as to why I just don't go up there and make these passes and moves as much as I used to because I have it on the same difficulty as I had it on Heat 3, but I just cannot do anything with my own half track. Road courses I can win, short tracks, super speedways, I got a chance, but these mile and a half tracks, these guys are just typically gone. Almost think like an alternate tire strategy would put me on better tires, but I mean look at that. I'm kinda just like I'm losing them. Not like I'm driving slow, I'm driving at the normal speed that everybody else is, but I'm just getting left behind. It'll be an interesting strategy, maybe I'll lower the AI down and uh, try the same track. Because a lot of these miles have, like, especially at land, that's a track that I've always done really, really good at. And I have not won here one time on NASCAR Heat 4. So, maybe I'll check the AI, see if that's the thing. Uh, Google maybe a comparison between the two as well, but that's gonna be a race at Atlanta Solid finish driving from 40th up to 14th. I'll take it. Uh, that's some solid points. No stage points, but solid points nonetheless So I hope you guys enjoyed And we'll see you guys in the next